Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now what I want to talk about today is how to create your own off-the-grid GoPro battery charging solution. Now as we know with GoPros, most of the time we're out in the field and that may, that may be a place where we don't have a motorcycle, we don't have a car, we don't have a power jack, so we don't have any way to recharge that GoPro battery. Now even when you carry multiple GoPro batteries with you, it's often easy to film so much that you run out of battery life. And you don't want to take an abundance of batteries because then you've got other accessories and you don't... When I travel on the road, when I travel the world to shoot YouTube videos, I try to pack as lightly as possible. That way if I pick up souvenirs along the way I've got room for them. Now what I'm going to demonstrate here, and, and you can find a link to order all of this within this video's description, but a simplistic GoPro battery charging solution for off the grid using solar energy. So for starters what I have here is a Wasabi Power and this came with a Wasabi Power battery kit that included two batteries which are awesome by the way. They last longer than the uh, GoPro branded batteries but it'll also work with the GoPro branded batteries. So get you a USB Wasabi Power charger. This is just a USB cable that I've got connected to it. Uh, the next piece, obviously your GoPro battery or your Wasabi battery. This right here is a battery pack. This has two USB ports. You can use it to charge your iPad, your cell phone, GoPro batteries, any sort of small USB power, or rechargeable device. This is a charging input to charge the battery within here. So the idea behind an off-the-grid charging solution is that you also have a solar panel. This is a folding solar panel. It's got grommets on the end. So when you're, if you're riding a bicycle or whatever, you can strap it to a backpack on your back and it's gonna capture that sun while you're going to and from. This has a USB port built into it. There's the USB port that's connected to the solar panel. So what you do, it's very simple. You get out in the sun, wherever that destination is, you stick this USB cable in. This came with the, with the battery. You stick it into your battery's charging port. So what's going to happen, the sun, the sun's energy is going to keep this battery topped off. Because ultimately when you're charging, uh, when you're charging GoPro batteries and or other types of batteries, you're going to be depleting the amount of battery life that's present within this uh, within this battery pack. So then what you can do is put your device that you want to charge, in this case, a uh, GoPro battery. Put your GoPro battery in there and then turn on your your, uh, there we go, it's on now. Turn on your battery so you can see this is illuminated. And then you can also see right here this has a charging indicator. So it's a good way to visually know that your battery, that your GoPro battery is charging. Once it's full it'll turn green on the Wasabi which is great. And then to just, like I said, to keep your, um, to keep your battery that's charging the GoPro battery topped off, you've got these solar panels. So it's a quite simple solution. You can see that battery's already full because <laughs> I literally had it full and I, I I guess I depleted a little bit of the battery. But see, now it's green, green. You can charge two GoPro batteries concurrently using this Wasabi Power battery charger. So again, just to explain in, this, in as simplistic a way as possible, you've got this foldable solar panel. It has a USB port built into it. Included USB cable with this battery right here. It's plugged into the solar panel to the battery. And then from this battery, it's plugged into the Wasabi Power USB GoPro battery charger, which has one GoPro Pro battery in it. I could have two, like I said, if I wanted to. But the sun is keeping this battery recharged so when you're out in the field, even if you're not charging, okay, my battery's full now. 
my GoPro battery. So I'm gonna put it away, put it back in my backpack. But while I'm out filming on that beach in uh, Bora Bora, I have this sitting on the sand and this is collecting sun to keep this battery fully topped off. So then when I'm riding my canoe to my next destination, I can have this on my backpack while I'm paddling the canoe to continue to top this battery off. Or if this battery's topped off, maybe I'm just using it to charge my cell phone and my, and my GoPro batteries while I paddle to the next destination. Again, completely, complete off the grid, solar charging solution for your GoPro, your smartphone, other USB devices for that matter. You could do it just with the, with the solar panel. The disadvantage to doing it just with the solar panel without the, uh, let's see, I could stick this into this. I don't have any sun in here, but if I did, you would see this illuminate. The disadvantage to using it without the battery is that what you're doing, you're really limiting yourself because if a cloud passes over, if you if you temporarily go indoors, maybe to buy some gas or, or buy some uh, buy some drinks or something, because you're thirsty from paddling that kayak in Bora Bora, it's not going to continue to charge because the solar panels aren't having any sun hit them. But if you have this battery, this battery is continuing to charge, and the solar panel is enabling it to continue to recharge. So you're constantly replenishing your battery life that's charging your GoPro and your other USB accessories. I think this is a really cool solution. Tell me what you think. Again, check the link within the video description. You can find a link to order all of this, uh, all of this equipment that I've mentioned here. I use this all the time when I travel because I'm not always near a battery or a wall jack, but the sun is always there during the daytime. And if it's nighttime, hey, I charge this up during the day so I can keep my stuff topped off. Hope this video is of value. Be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixguy. Y'all have a good day.